Hello, this is Scott Winnell with a webcast for Tomorrow's World. According to the World Health Organization, in 2014, over 41 million children under the age of five were overweight or obese. That is the equivalent of the entire population of the nation of Poland or Argentina or the state of California. Even in Africa, where hundreds of millions are starving, the number of children who are overweight or obese nearly doubled from 5.4 million in 1990 to 10.6 million in 2014. Globally, nearly half of the children under five who were overweight or obese in 2014 lived in Asia. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, childhood obesity in the U.S. has more than doubled in children and quadrupled in adolescents in the past 30 years. In 2012, more than one in three adolescents were either overweight or obese. One third. Children today are eating more and moving less. Many schools have eliminated recess in favor of classroom time where children sit still. Children are far more likely to sit in front of the TV or play video games than they are to go outside and play. In fact, according to a three-year-old study completed by the U.S. cable network Nickelodeon, Children age 9 and below spend on average 35 hours a week watching television, the equivalent of a full-time job. That is in addition to other time being spent on a tablet or gaming device, often totaling 10 additional hours. And according to a December 2015 report from the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, children age 8 to 18 spent on average 7.5 hours daily with media and technology screens. That's over 52 hours a week. It's also not uncommon for children watching or gaming on a device to also be snacking on unhealthy, high-fat, salty, sugary foods. The Academy also noted that children who watch a lot of electronic media are likely to have lower grades, to read fewer books, to exercise less, and to be overweight. In Psalm 127, verse 3, we're clearly told that children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Children are God's gift to us. They are, as the prophet Malachi wrote, godly offspring. They are ours for a brief time as we raise them for God as His children. But parenting is hard work and a full-time job. God tells us in Deuteronomy 6, verse 7, that we are to teach our children God's ways when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up, essentially throughout the entire day, every day. Allowing our children and grandchildren to watch TV or sit in front of a device is easy, and it allows us as adults to focus on something else. However, the long-term results of doing so are bad for our kids and do not teach them lessons or morals that will help them in their futures. As parents and grandparents, it's up to us to set a godly example for our children and our grandchildren in all aspects of life. One area that's key to health and happiness is regular exercise and physical activity. We need to set the right example for them, and we also need to limit the opportunity for them to be sedentary, stationary, and inactive. We need to provide opportunity and encouragement for them to get away from their devices and screens and get moving and go out and play. And if necessary, we need to break our habits of relegating them to a device or a screen to keep them busy and out of the way. Parenting and grandparenting is hard work and it takes constant vigilance to take good care of the gifts that God has blessed us with. For more insights into how to become an even better parent or grandparent, read or listen to our outstanding and very helpful booklet, Successful Parenting God's Way. Thank you for watching. And for more information, video, and material on biblical and news topics, please visit us on Facebook or on the web at tomorrowsworld.org.